Today on Hong Kong Blu-rays, we're looking at 88 films release of Black Cat from 1991. Welcome to HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. Glad to have you guys with us. So, we're having a little look at the recent release of Black Cat from 88 Films. Quite a nice package this one. I've had a lot of fond memories of this film. I had it on the um, Made in Hong Kong VHS. And I also had the Hong Kong, no not Hong Kong Legends, I had the Fortune Store DVD of it. Oh, right. So, I have a lot of history with this film. And uh, yeah, it was a rewatch this time on this lavish edition from 88 Films. I am, um, yeah, I was extremely pleased to get my hands on this. Shout out to Terracotta Store, they got this film to us extra fast. Thank you guys, we really appreciate that. And um, yeah, what did you think this time around? Should I give a brief synopsis first? Yeah, sure. Okay, so for any of you that don't know about this film, it's basically like a Hong Kong version of La Femme Nikita, directed by Lou Besson, starring Anne Parallel. Um, but in this version, we've got Jade Lung, a first time actress at the time, and this was big budget by DB Films. And it follows the similar story path of a troubled um, youth who gets herself like in, in serious trouble with the law and basically written off, and she's given to the government to be turned into an assassin. But the difference being in this one, she has a chip called the Black Cat put inside her head. How did it stand up for you on this viewing, the film? Um, yeah, I, I did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was a bit more critical on watching it a second time um, of the actual film. What do you think? Yeah, um, oh God, I've seen this film so many times. I do have a soft spot for it, but we've seen so many films I mean, since I've watched this previously, there's been dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds more films I've watched, and I was a bit shocked at my own, what can I say? My own enthusiasm had waned watching it, because at the beginning of the film, there's not an awful lot of dialogue. There's uh, mm. a lot of scenes where it's just Jade Young screaming her head off, Oh yes, that was annoying you a bit this time, it? it? It was, because you could tell she was an inexperienced actress mm. and it was all over the top. They had a bunch of Western actors in uh, the beginning of the yeah. film, which they would have been better off without. Not a one of them could give a performance. They were all awful. Yeah, I mean, yeah, truly awful. It's like they just pulled somebody off the street. No acting lessons at all. And it really drags the film down for me at the beginning. Mm. Yeah, it was it was really noticeable, wasn't it, this mm. time when watching. Yeah. And with, with that being said, there is like overtones of first blood. Yes. At the beginning yes. of the film, you know, with the way she's being like um, beaten by the police when she's been caught by them. Mm. Because um, after she's like uh, killed the truck driver at the beginning in the diner scene and then she accidentally shoots the, the copper so the police hate her she's getting beat she's getting holes down like rambo is mm, yeah. she's got a white t-shirt on um oh that sounded wrong i meant that she wasn't topless um you know but um yeah it was quite brutal yeah it was very brutal she really went through mm. the ringer mm. and then somebody comes into the courthouse she's handcuffed to the toilet for some reason somebody mm. comes in to assassinate her and um, there's never an explanation for that, so yeah. looking at the plot points in it, I thought, like, well, this is really loosely strung together for something they yeah. threw a lot of money at. And you yeah. can tell they threw a lot of money at. Look at the locations. Yes. There's loads of location yeah. shooting in this, and it looks really lavish. So you've got mm. this really expensive looking film with this really bad acting and this really plot points and story that doesn't hold up by itself. No? No, I agree. The only saving grace really was Simon Yam. Mm -hmm. We love Simon Yam and he really lifted the film. Yes, it's like, oof, relief. 
Simon Yam is here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> and he does. Thank God. The minute he's on screen and he's putting in his performance, it raises things. Yes. And I think there's a noticeable difference when Jade has her scenes with Simon is in her performance too. Mm. I feel like he somehow picked her up. Maybe because she was quite a new actress and you know she was working with someone mm -hmm. experienced with acting that it gave her a bit more confidence maybe. Yeah she did say in the extras mm. that Simon was really really good with her didn't she? Mm. So mm. I, I presume he probably gave her a point or two. Yes. And yeah. as the film was shot chronologically as we told in the commentaries um, then you can see the escalation of her performance. Yeah, yeah, she was definitely a lot better towards the end of the film, wasn't she? A lot yeah. more confident. Yeah, yeah, there's like, um, yeah, there's, she gets put through some ridiculous training sequences and an absolutely ludicrous test, which ends up with, you know, dozens of people shooting at her and her jumping off this high bridge into like a river below. Yeah, and, um, amazing stuff. And it's like, well done, you passed the test. Yeah. <laughs> what an insane test. One in like a billion pass it, you know. Um, so yeah, it was fun to watch that, and I did enjoy those bits. Um, but if that's the test you've got to be to become an assassin, I can't imagine there's very many of them out there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, she meets a, a guy as well while she's off doing another assassination with an ice bullet, you know, quite oh, yeah, quite yeah. a cool idea. How that would actually work, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know. They say it could be five seconds or something, but um, yeah. and this guy, there's another plot derivative there because he's apparently has his heart on the right hand side, so you know there's a bit of foreshadowing yeah. a little bit later on yeah. in the film. And he's a photographer, takes a picture, she breaks into his house supposedly to kill him, ends up beeping on him in the shower, like, ooh. And um, so that was quite amusing. Uh, she builds a relationship with him, but then she becomes fearful when Simon Yam turns up again that they mm. want to kill him off because he knows who she is or he might mm. know too much mm. and she ends up taking him off to Japan with her. Um, some good scenes there, yes. I really felt the budget there, Yeah. you know with the crowds, with the festivals that are going on. Mm. Um, I particularly love the scene with the assassination at the outdoor hotspot of the spring. Yes, yeah. that was really well done. Wasn't really it? well done. That Lovely really location. Good. Lovely location. Mm. So this is a real mixed bag for us. Um, mm. I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would come back to it again, but I did enjoy it quite a bit. I think I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. What about you? Um, 6.5. Oh, there we go. So the package on this one, we have a very nice slip case. Now, not everybody's a fan of this um, slip case, but I actually quite like the cover on this mm -hmm. and, and the colours, it just um, seems to have a bit of atmosphere to me. Yeah. So, you know, personally we're, we're quite pleased with that slip case, mm -hmm. it's quite nice. We have a, a really nice booklet with this one again. Yeah. You know, some writing and some really good pictures and images on the inside of that. And we also got a poster, a double sided poster, which I believe has the slip case artwork. And then we have some more sort of original off the time artwork on the other side. So yeah, that's nice for all you guys out there that probably do as we do and end up framing some of these. And there's some really nice postcards with this one, isn't there, Shaz? There are. Really mm. like these postcards. It's about, is it four? So these are very nice like to have with these 88 packages. They always put in the extra work on those. And we have a reversible sleeve on the disc too. So that's about it for the physical side. And let's say we have the reversible sleeve. So you can decide which cover image you like. And uh, the disc itself, we've got some extras on there. We've got um, wonderful commentaries again by um, Big Mike Leader and Anna Venema and Frank Cheng as well does a commentary. And um, you know, both commentaries are different, both packed with lots of information. We're not gonna tell you what they say, what would be the point of that. Buy the Blu-ray, listen to the commentaries, enjoy them. Um, there's a nice extra with uh, Jade Lung, like an interview. Yeah, that was a really good interview. Yeah, which, 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 yeah. I, I was pretty amazed at how good she looks now. 
Okay, she looks absolutely. I, I prefer the way she looks now to how she looked then. Right, um, yeah. She knows an odd thing. She's aged quite a bit. You know, it's shot in '91, but I, I just thought she'd really aged gracefully, mm. and I really enjoyed listening to what she had to say. Yes. Um, some trailers. Yeah, I'll mix the trailers on there. So maybe not quite as extensive as some of the other 88 releases. <coughs> um, I felt like Erotic Girl Story and Rebel Tricks and Armour of God were, you know, a bit more special. But it was not. Sorry about this. My cat has decided to join in, Dollar. Say hello. Um, but yeah, no, this is a really good package. Picture, I did have a slight issue. At the, yes. the beginning, there was two super heavy, grain heavy scenes. Yeah. I mean, to the point where it did distract us a little bit. But oh, I know you keep the grain to get the detail, yes. but it hid the detail. It was that thick with grain mm. in two of the mm. scenes. It was only, you know, just a couple of scenes right at the beginning, though. The rest yeah. of the film was really good. Don't be put off yeah. by that. Yeah. Because every other scene absolutely top-notch a yes. plus yes. it looked incredible and don't just take our word for that you know go and uh, have a look at what times square has to say times square kung fu because i know he I, I spoke to him he approved the picture on this i think they mm -hmm. got the color grading right this right. should be yeah. and you got the detail there so it is really good sound was very good um subtitles were fantastic as always yeah. Yeah. so overall we're really impressed with this package from 88 films Great job yet again, guys. Keep up the good work. Let's have some more DMV films. Four stars. If you're interested in picking up a copy of this Region B release, we'll leave purchase links in the description below. If you've made it this far through the review, show your appreciation and give us a good old like. That would be great. Just so we know that um, you've enjoyed the episode and it helps us out on YouTube. So we look forward to seeing you next time and remember, be true and buy the blue.